For the figure X or crisscross suture, there's two main varieties. The first variety will be a tension suture or a closure, closure suture. We'll begin at the mesiobuccal papilla and go straight across to the distal lingual. We'll get rid of our excess. And then we're going to go back to the buckle, this time from the distal buckle, straight across to the mesiolingual. Trying to come through my loop here. And then we'll tie it off with a surgeon's knot. And you'll notice the knot is going across the incision. So that will get you more closure in the crisscross technique. The alternative is to do a mattress style, which would include entering the same as before from the buckle across to the lingual. But on the way back, we're going to go lingual to buckle. And so the important thing to realize here is that the final knot will run parallel to the wound be placed on the buckle, hence making it a tension relieving suture or a mattress. So those are the two variations of the figure X or the crisscross suture.